Hi, I'm Chef Keith of Valeria Restaurant in Bernie, Texas, in the heart of the Hill Country. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to do a classic spaghetti carbonara, which is the most famous pasta from Rome. I'm going to show you how to get started on this. You can do this. Just follow my steps and it'll be easy. We're going to do a little bit more of the authentic style. I know many people like putting cream or peas or white wine or this or that, and that's fine. It's all up to you. But today, being a big fan of Rome, I've been there many times, I take tours there, I really want to show you at least a glimpse of the traditional way, which uses nothing but guanciale, cheek bacon. It actually goes from below the ear to the shoulder of uh, the pork over there. And uh, they cure it for months at a time with a lot of spices, and it makes a wonderful uh, bacon uh, versus the pork belly, which is the pancetta. If you can't find the guanciale, you can uh, easily use pancetta or even smoked bacon, although the American version has a lot of sugar in it, so it kind of changes the flavor profile quite a bit. But I guess pancetta would be the closest to it, to guanciale without actually having guanciale. But I get mine from Bielese, B-I-E-L-L-E-S-E -E -E in New York City. And uh, they farm their pigs uh, in upstate New York, and they do a great job uh, with this product. And this is very similar to what you'll find in Rome and in the Lazio region of Italy. You don't want to use the outer part. You want to trim that away as thinly as possible so you don't take much of the protein content inside away, but you're trying to get that oxidized layer of spices and fat off because that can be maybe a little off-putting, a little unpleasant in the actual dish. So I've done that here with our serving size for one person. It's about 70, 70 grams of guanciale right here. And we're going to be using two organic eggs but we're going to be using one whole and one yolk. And we're using 100 grams of spaghetti. You can use the spaghetti of your choice. I use Felicity from Italy. You can also use Di Cecco or your favorite spaghetti. I would try to make sure it's Italian. I think they do the best job, obviously, with the spaghetti. And uh, so I'll show, illustrate quickly how to do the guanciale, the trimming. You're going to take it in strips. I find this is the easiest way. Instead of going around with the knife blade, I just take it into strips, turn it flat so it's safe, and then just go down around and take off a thin amount so that you can make sure the oxidized fat and spices are off of the guanciale. And then we just simply go all the way around until it's cleaned up. Like so. Not too hard. We already have this done, as I said, so I'll move this over to the board and proceed with the recipe. So I'm going to put this in my little cazuela to hold. Now we're going to break our eggs into a small, you could use a bowl, I'm using a little cazuela. It's nice organic eggs with a nice deep orange yolk, that's great. I'm going to uh, crack my egg over the trash can here so I can get rid of the white. Normally if we make a lot of these, we save the whites, use them for pavlovas or other desserts usually. But now we have one and a half eggs, two yolks, one egg white. Now we're going to be using Pecorino Romano, which is the typically the only cheese they use in the Roman region for this dish. I use Locatelli, which is a great brand. Locatelli Pecorino Romano. And so we're going to move our big block of cheese and I'm going to grate about three quarters of a cup in by volume. Remember it's fluffed up so it's not three quarters of a cup of actual cheese. It's just fluffed up about three quarters of a cup. And there we are, that's about it. We're gonna add our eggs. And get a fork and just simply Mix those up together to make a little paste. I'm going to add some fresh ground black pepper to this. I always use fresh ground and the, for the for this dish for the carbonara, I usually dial the 
pull the dial back and get a little thicker, coarser grind, I think that lends more to the authenticity of the dish than finely ground pepper. So we put a lot. They use a lot over there. I've had it about 20 times in a row. <laughs> I'm always amazed at how much pepper they can put in. But I'm a big fan of black pepper, so there we are. There's the mixture of the eggs, pecorino, and black pepper. Now, we're going to add salt to our boiling water. About two teaspoons for this amount. This will look to be about a liter and a half. And we're going to add our spaghetti. This is 100 grams for one serving. Move it around. And we'll stir it around until it gets down in there. Usually for service, we have a huge pasta pan. But we don't have to worry about this. But as most home cooks are not restaurateurs, this is probably a pan you'd more, be more likely to have in your kitchen. Something of this size. There, it's all in, submerged and going. It'll take about nine minutes. We're going to take our guanciale and put it in a pan that's been warming up. No oil is needed. Plenty of oil in the guanciale. Plenty of fat in the guanciale will render the oil, the required oil needed. And we'll just let that sit there. Low heat is the best. Try not to go very high. I have the pan a little bit high. I'm going to turn down to very low. I'm just going to let it simmer. In about eight to nine minutes, it's going to render a nice amount of fat. And we're going to cook our noodles, our spaghetti, and it'll go off the heat. And then we'll add the spaghetti and coat it with the oil and uh, start the rest of the process. You can see it's rendering down nicely. It's been about four minutes and it's already rendered a fair amount of oil. It's going to render more in the next four minutes. And we, again, we have it on real low heat now. I'm going to turn it down, snuck up on me again. Go on very low heat, try to lower the heat a little bit. We don't want to get it overly darkened. We want to keep it kind of on the bronze side, so to speak. Now that our pasta is boiled, just moved it right over here, we're going to take it out with the tongs and just put it right into the pan. We're just going to toss it around a little. Nice and coated. Now it's just cooled off just for a few seconds. It's ready to put in the bowl of eggs. And then we'll quickly turn it around. Use a fork and just turn it. What I like to do is give it a little slaps, a few slaps, back and forth. You hear that slushing sound. It's getting all happy with each other. Nice and thick, a nice warm plate. A little twist in there and serve it. Oh, really goodness, it's really good. And then we're going to dress it with a little more, grate a little more pecorino over the top. Finally, we'll hit it with another dose of freshly browned coarse pepper. And there you have it, our spaghetti alla carbonara Roman style.